You know, it's funny. Whenever the subject of free speech comes up these days, you tend to hear a lot of folks making ill-informed and ultimately false claims about certain forms of speech that they believe to be exceptions to the right to free speech. The main example you usually hear is hate speech. So the idea is, if you are saying something that expresses hatred or what's perceived as hatred to people of a certain group, particularly historically marginalized groups, then ostensibly that is somehow not protected by the First Amendment right to free speech. Actually, that viewpoint is wrong, as I've pointed out in the past, about a year ago, if not slightly more, on this channel. As a matter of fact, there is no hate speech exception to the First Amendment right to free speech. However, there are exceptions to the right to free speech. Unfortunately, all too often they're not actually called out. Well, guess what is an actual exception to the right to free speech? Incitement to imminent, lawless, or illegal action, such as violent assault. And guess what is probably the best example of that exception to the right to free speech in American politics today? Our friend Donald Trump. Donald Trump. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm referring specifically to the threats that he makes against protesters at his rallies. There's a lot of commentary in the media about the violence that often pops off at Donald Trump's rallies. Typically, his supporters will attack any protesters who speak out against him at these events, rough them up, and here's the critical point, Donald Trump eggs them on. To name just one example of many, just last month, February 2016, at one rally, Trump and I'm quoting from a CNN.com article here. Trump urged his supporters to, and I quote, knock the crap out of anyone who is getting ready to throw a tomato. And he even went so far as to promise to pay for their legal fees. He said, and I quote, knock the crap out of them, would you? Seriously, okay? Just knock the hell. I promise you I will pay for the legal fees. I promise, I promise. Ladies and gentlemen, if that's not incitement to imminent illegal action, I don't know what is. I don't know what possibly could be if that doesn't fit the bill. Explicitly urging his supporters to commit acts of violence, knock the hell out of them, knock the crap out of them. Very clearly, it's an incitement to violence, and it is certainly imminent, especially considering that many of his supporters actually do act on that. He is encouraging them to commit acts of violence that are considered assault under the criminal law. The fact that these incidents happen at his rallies shows that Trump either knows or at least can and should know that his inflammatory statements carry a strong chance of actually leading to actual violence. And the violence is imminent. He says these things, and in at least some cases, people actually act on them. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an exception to the First Amendment right to free speech. I actually just saw a legal analyst on CNN make that point this morning. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. You want a real exception to the right to free speech? There's one. And that's an exception that's long recognized by the Supreme Court and that is actually quite justified. If you're urging people to commit acts of violence in an immediate sense, it makes sense for that particular kind of speech not to be protected by the right to free speech. That's the kind of speech that can actually directly lead to imminent harm to other people. And as the saying goes, your right to swing your fists ends at my nose. That is the main benchmark for determining when people's individual rights and freedoms can be abridged or limited, when their exercise would hurt other people. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. There's your exception to the right to free speech. It figures Donald Trump would be one of the public figures to exemplify and illustrate that point. Now all that remains to be seen is whether any authorities out there will have the guts and the integrity and honor to actually press charges against him for it. Time will tell.